Hey guys, what's going on? It's Travis McGee with M Grills, and today we have a 2019 model M1. This is a brand new grill, so first thing we're going to do is season it, and we'll show you how to do that. So we have Pam cookie spray. This is just a canola oil, so we're going to spray everywhere inside the grill and then fire it up. So I'm going to use my great lifting tools. I'm going to pop my grates out, like so. I'm even going to take out the bottom grate. Pop the charcoal grate out and lay that right here. Now, I'm just going to take my canola oil, give it a good spray everywhere inside. Now, I don't need it dripping or anything, but just give it a good coat. And what this will what this will do is keep this. Uh, your inside from ever rusting out or anything. We're about good. That's it. Then I'll put my grates back in. And since the grates are quarter inch 304 stainless steel, you don't have to uh, season your grates because they will not rust. The same thing, but in the firebox. So you can slide your basket out. Just lay that down. Kind of get the rails really good, the side walls. Up on top. That's about it. Get the basket back in. So I took the top grates out of the M1, and now this is the ash pan that is underneath the firebox, uh, your charcoal basket inside your firebox. So, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a chimney starter, I'm going to place it right inside on top of my ash pan. I can do this on the concrete. Grab some charcoal, and for this, since we're just seasoning the grill, you could use any charcoal. I just use my ash pan just to catch uh, some charcoal that's falling through. So I'm going to take a couple of fire starters. I'm going to put these directly on the charcoal grate, put this on top. That way we could fire up our charcoal just inside the grill. We'll dump it in the firebox. So I have a just a charcoal lighter fire starter block. I'm going to put it right on the grate, light it. Now I'm going to put my chimney starter right on top inside the grill. While that's going, I'm going to put my ash pan back underneath my firebox basket. Once my charcoal is going really nice, I'm not going to dump it on top of the charcoal grate. I'm actually just going to dump it strictly in the firebox. If you're ever doing this and it's really windy outside, just make sure your grate is in its lowest position and you have plenty of clearance here so you can actually shut the lid. Make sure your damper is all fully open so you can light up your chimney inside your grills. So this whole method that I'm doing right now is actually the exact method that I always light my firebox basket up. So whether if I'm charcoal smoking or wood burning smoking, um, I always go through this same process and get a hot chimney of charcoal and just dump it right in the firebox basket. If I just wanted just to light a bed of charcoal in the basket, then I could put one of those blocks, make a, a mound of charcoal, put one of them fire starter blocks underneath, and I could do it that way. But if I do it like this, I have a nice consistent burning of charcoal and I could just dump the whole thing in there and it's just perfect. So now that the charcoal's been going for a little bit, it's all, it's ready to be dumped in. So this is what we do. You're gonna take your pan, slide it out like that, take your fireball's basket, put it just like that. So now you have a complete cover underneath your firebox as you dump your charcoal in. Take your chimney, and just pour it right in. So now you could take your grate removing tools. Remove 
move your charcoal around. If you want to add more charcoal to it, you can do so at this point. We have to think that's exactly what we're going to do. That's it. So, push your box in, put your ash in, put your vent, uh, your damper fully open, and then we'll shut the lid and make sure your lid damper is fully open. That's it. So at this point, just let it heat up for about one to two hours. You want the temperature to get over 300 degrees, three to 400 will be perfect. Um, and then at that point, you know, you can wipe your grates down and start cooking in it. Um, I'm going to get ready and I'm going to smoke a brisket today. So stay tuned for another video and I'll show you how to start your wood burning fires and we'll smoke a brisket on this bad boy. Thanks guys.